Ooh, I like seeing my images like this in Photoshop. No tools, no distractions, just me and that gorgeous slot canyon. Mm, that's nice. Oh, hi, me, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm scrolling through Matt Klaskowski's Instagram on my phone. I got distracted. You see, it happens to me all the time. I go to pick up my phone because there's something I need to do and I get distracted. The same thing happens to us in Photoshop. We can be sitting here having a grand old time in Photoshop, get to a point where we think we're done, and then we see some tool in our way that makes us do something else. Or we open up one panel and we start doing all this other stuff. We get distracted. Well, there's a way that you can limit your distractions in Photoshop so you can just embrace with the work that you're working on. And I'm gonna show you that today. It's a very simple thing, probably the most simple thing I'm gonna show you in Photoshop, but it will help you look at your images a different way while you're editing them. You ready for this? It's simple. We're gonna press the F key. Press it one more time. And look at that. We now get to see our image completely distraction free. Why would we wanna look at our images this way? Well, it's a good practice to look at your images this way so you don't see all the stuff that's around it. So you can see your image just as it is. This is how I like to critique people's images in Photoshop. As I'm working on their image in Photoshop, I'll press the F key twice, which gets me into this mode here so that I, all I have is me and the image to look at. Why is this also helpful? If you plan on matting your images, you can actually change the color of the background that we're on. I prefer to have a darker gray, but you can right click here and you could change this to, let's say, uh, a, a, your own custom color. Let's say you're gonna make this a white mat, that, that you're actually gonna frame this image with a white mat. So if you look at this, this is what this image would look like with a white mat behind it. If you wanna see this a little bit smaller, press Control and Alt and minus or command option minus on a Mac. And that'll make it smaller. That way you can really see what it'll look like with a big white mat around it. Control, Alt and plus, and it makes it larger again. Again, you can change this color to any color you want. Like I said, I prefer a dark gray. This is the dark gray that Photoshop has as a default. This is black. I don't really like looking at it on black because I can't see where my image is bleeding, where it might be dark. So I'm gonna go and make this a custom color. And the custom color that I'm gonna choose here is actually going to be somewhere between the medium dark and black. So it's like a medium black, okay? This is how I like to view it. Gets rid of the distractions. I can actually look at my image without all the tools in my way in Photoshop. But this has been asked many times, Blake, how do you do that thing that you do when you're in your critique sessions and all you see is the image? It's just the F key. Now you wanna get back into Photoshop, press F again, and there you go. Now this is the exact same thing as hitting this button right here. You press this button, it's gonna get you into the layout mode that we see here, where our tools are over top of our image. Instead of being contained within the space, we click it one more time, it's gonna say, hey, you're gonna go into full screen mode, you sure you wanna do this? I say don't show again, just knowing that all we have to do is press the F key or escape, and here we go. F key or escape, and we're back. There you go, fastest tip I've ever put on YouTube. If you like this tutorial, you like this tip, please consider subscribing. I like to take difficult things like this in Photoshop and make them seemingly simple. If you wanna watch a whole playlist full of stuff that I've done in Photoshop, go ahead and click right here.